wind is calm, runway 28 right intersection echo, flip takeoff. Flip it up to a drop right Today I make the final push up to Cooktown in far north Queensland. This is as far north as I'm going to travel this trip, and I expect to stay here around two weeks, fishing being the main pastime up here. Cooktown is very much still a frontier, rough and tumble kind of place, where the lifestyle is layback and a lot slower paced town than down south in the big smoke. I drive through town on the main thoroughfare, and it's the last sealed road you will see if you plan to continue north from Cooktown, as you will be traveling into remote wilderness only serviced by dirt roads. My first stop is at the fishing tackle shop to buy some more lures, and then I take a couple of snaps along the main foreshore where Captain Cook first set foot in Australia. There are warning signs posted all around the waterways here regarding the danger that crocodiles present up here. But of course, there is always a funny sign around if you look hard enough. From the town I head out to the racetrack where I will camp for the first two nights of my stay. It's a big, spacious camping spot and when I arrived there must have been between 75 and 100 rigs camped there. The surrounding landscape is lush and mountainous and the average temperature this time of the year is around the 25 to 30 degrees Celsius mark. This guy has his work cut out for him. Cooktown being of significant historical importance to Australia, I wandered through the cemetery, and by reading the headstones it was possible to get an idea of how it was back in the late 1800s. Some headstones provided a lot of detail while some gave the bare minimum of information. My first priority up here is to ask around and make contact with my old fishing mate that I have spent time in past years fishing with here. A fair bet is that someone fishing on the wharf will know him so I will spend some time fishing there. Success. I located Alan to say hello and catch up with him. He has been busy clearing his block, planting fruit trees and other native plants, drilling a bore to reach fresh water, and generally turning his block from bush into a beautiful place to live most of the year. Having a large motorhome, which he built years ago himself, has enabled him to move straight onto the block, and the motorhome still serves as both his permanent residence and RV for when he wants to go traveling. Of course, we will get to go fish again together and that will be the focus of the next video clip.